Okay, wow, this really is the level I was thinking of yesterday. It's a lot of fun, too. It's really easy when you look at the stuff you have. We are going to set up a standard walker trap. I'm going to raise the release rate to about 80. That should be good. That way we can set up the walker trap without worrying about the builder getting anywhere close to the edge. There we go. And now he is going to go ahead and he's going to build his way over to the wall, which shouldn't take that long, but I'm going to pause anyway. Okay, the builder has bridged the gap between himself and the wall. So now he is going to be a climber. You notice that we have no floaters in order to get the job done here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start digging more or less the edge of this uh, giant arrow wall right here. We're going to dig down a little, and then when we get to a certain point, we're going to go ahead and uh, bridge the gap between here and this wall. Alright, so now see how perfectly this works out. We're building over the wall here, and now we're going to mine through the arrow. No! No, that is absolutely not what you were supposed to do! Well, uh, can he at least make it without splatting? Ha! Woo! He can. Well, then we'll be right back while he does this correctly the second time. Let's go ahead and have him build up here so he doesn't climb himself to death. I don't know what it is with this game and mining through arrowed walls, but it is really finicky about it. So that's what you have to do there, and hopefully I've made a tunnel that goes straight down onto this little bridge right here. We shall see, of course. I'll be right back. Well, no, I guess we can kind of wait this out, actually. Let's go ahead and uh, see if I did this correctly. Ah, yes, cannot get much better than that. That is a nice little step right there. So now what you've got to do is we want to dig again. This time we're going to uh, we're going to dig. This bridge is going to become useless now, so it's just going to be kind of a uh, kind of a neat curio hanging from the wall. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to dig through that as well. And I wonder if we can uh, mine to it. Well, it shouldn't matter anyway because once we get low enough, see now he's digging, and once he digs low enough, we can have him build, and then mine. And that creates the path of the exit pretty simply. So now we just bomb these guys, and that's how you make it to the exit, In last one out is a rotten egg. That level is a lot of fun. I really find myself having oodles of fun with it. Bye bye, bomber, and bye bye the rest of you. There's 77 of them, but it looks like two of them. Maybe, I guess, a bunch of them are just walking side by side. This level can be really shitty sometimes, because it relies heavily on luck. This is the only lemon you can kill right here. You have to save 98% of them. And now we're going to do a fair bit of bashing to make our way out and to make sure all the lemmings get to the exit. We have 12 builders, which we're pretty much going to use all of them probably, barring some fluke where I'm actually able to uh, build with some kind of luck around here planning on building a zigzag bridge up to the exit, but you just go through most of this level the way you normally would. We're also going to bash through this little broken staircase right here, and then we are going to, as soon as we uh, bash through it, we're going to build our way out of this mess. There we go. Okay, so roughly two and a half bridges gets you successfully up to the pyramid part. Now we're going to bash, and now here's where things start to get rough, as you'll no doubt find out shortly. I already feel like I'm going to be having a lot of trouble building my way out of here, but I'm going to start from roughly here. And then when he hits the wall, I'm going to have him turn around just and start building just as soon as he hits the wall, if I can uh, manage to see it happen. Okay, that should work out pretty well. And now, uh, let's see, if he goes, if he hits the wall and he goes left and then up into the left. I think we should uh, be able to do this. Uh, things are starting to look pretty sketchy, actually. Oh, man, and we, on we only used uh, three steps on that particular builder, so uh, I'm very wary about wasting builders here. This is, a this is a very difficult level, if you couldn't tell, and I think I started too early right there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I only have five builders left, and they're all just kind of spilling out now. They're hitting their heads, and now they're going to be turning around, and it's going to be very difficult to build my way out of here. This is exactly what I was afraid of. See, look look at that dummy going. Look at that dummy going. And see, now they can't even get out of here because too many of them built their way to the left. That is what I hate about this level. That's what I hate about this level more than anything. You get barely just enough not-builders to do 
anything right and I can't talk anymore. Blech. Okay, I think I had it right for the bottom of the staircase, but this time, instead of, uh... Hmm. Instead of going from the very edge of the wall, I'm gonna go from about... Okay, this is gonna get tough if I don't do this soon. Okay, yeah, right there should be good. Let's see how this works out for us. Yeah, he's gonna hit up against the wall. He's not gonna get his... He's not gonna hit his head. And it'll make it easier to, uh, build out to the right. In fact, he did it with, uh, just one bridge. Very nice. Oh, yes! Oh, don't hit your head, please. Well, that'll actually... That actually somehow made it harder to build out. Okay, you've only got one shot at this now. How the... See? Ah, I hate this level! How did he do that?! Alright, guys, can you try not to epic fail at this like you do everything else, please? See, they're all starting to pour into the hatch now, and I got them going pretty good somehow. No, 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 no! There! Oh, but he hit his head! Okay, we've got two chances to get out of here, and he's probably going to hit his head on one of those, so... Hey, wow! That actually worked out pretty well, so, uh... Let's see if I can get it going. we got two chances here. Don't screw it up. Alright! Well, we actually got out with one extra that time. So yes, that's a very difficult level. Pretty much by virtue of luck, and nothing else. So, uh, let's go, uh, bomb that one guy. We need 98%, and we got 98%. So I bid adieu to this very shitty level. Screw you in your anus. I'm flipping you off right now, but you can't see it. For a Mayhem level, this one is actually pretty easy. We're gonna start out with a lot of women's dying, but you only have to save about, um... You only have to save 66% which out of 75 is like 50, so two-thirds. So we're going to want to build bridges until lemmings are not splatting anymore, which only takes about four bridges, but still, you don't want to see me building, which is boring. I'll be right back. Okay, the four bridges are up, and we're done. So now one guy is going to have to become a climber, and I'm going to have him dig up here. He needs to dig, and he needs to, well, he needs to bash now because we don't want to... We don't want anybody escaping from that little pillar hole there, so uh, we're going to have him bash, and then once he gets down to the bottom, we're going to have him start building. And he's just going to keep going, and we want to be careful not to fall through any of these tiny little pixel holes. I'm going to go ahead and put the release rate up to 99 now. And so this level is pretty much standard building from here on out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stay on until we get to this little spot right here, because this is a spot where you want to bash as well so that you can end your uh, so that you can end your digging premature or your building prematurely but also make it really easy to go from a really easy to okay you'll see what I mean <laughs> I cannot talk today Jesus see it was really easy for him to bash walk down to that step and then he's gonna build all the way up to the exit now it's a pretty long build I'll be right back Okay, he's almost to the top, so we're going to have him dig. That's so we can give ourselves two chances with the bashers. He's well over the exit by now. There's also one to the left, but I prefer to go to the exit to the right. And these walls are so thin that you can essentially bash through them even if you go the wrong way. Well, that's not quite true, actually. There they go. So we had two chances to get through the wall, and we did it. That's a pretty simple level. You really don't need any of this stuff over to the left except for one floater and one climber. You, <laughs> and there he was, right at the end. You can basically get through this one with just bashing and building, a little creative digging. It's actually a lot easier than it looks. And here's the final we all fall down. A mere 11 levels after the previous one. Sorry about all the Packle Bells canon today, it's just sometimes I screw up or I look at a level before I play it and for some reason it won't play a tune twice, but it'll play this one to its heart's content. I'm going to set my release rate way high here, about 74, 75. We have 80 diggers, we only have to do this one last time, and this is going to be our last level for today. We're just going to watch them walk to the edge and we're going to do this level one last dead blasted time. But I've had fun with these levels. They're kind of an easy break, even if you are not playing the CD version where you can just watch them all walk to the exit. And if you're watching them walk to the exit, 
on the CD version, you're playing a Mayhem level and you're like 80 diggers. Yeah, right. There's no need for me to be doing this legit. We are pretty much going to take out this entire platform. This is going to get pretty rough, and I may even mess up a little, but I hope not. Because the We All Fall Down levels aren't that hard, but you do want to make sure you come all the way out to the end before you start your digging. We're digging on a, we're clicking on a rate of about two guys a second. So we should have this level done within a matter of minutes. It shouldn't take long at all. The three minute limit never increases for you. Woo! I am losing screen space here. I need to, need to give myself a little more room here. But yeah, they never go above the three minutes, but that isn't really a problem because you should be increasing your release rate anyway. These levels are a good reminder that you should do that occasionally when things are moving too slow for your liking. Oh, see, there's still lemmings coming out, but uh, we're getting pretty down to the wire here. Oh my, oh my, oh me, oh my. Love that country pie. Ah! 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 We should do this one. This should be no trouble at all. But they just kind of keep on coming, don't they? Dang. And it got kind of messy toward the end there, but we left a clean swath. No divisions in the wall. No little spaces left over floating out in the middle of nowhere. And that's basically how you want to get this done. I think we kind of fudge it toward the end. There's a few guys walking together there. Happy to be alive. And so am I. But we're going to take off for today, and tomorrow we'll start in on level 12. I think we're coming up on a, a special level fairly soon. The final one of those in the game as well. So, uh... Look forward to that. Stay tuned, and I will get out of your hair for today. And so will the Lemmings. I'll see you guys tomorrow once we've saved 100% here.